Hello, bonjour, hola, konnichiwa, and all of that. Thank you all so much for watching. I was tuning in. I hope you all are doing well and you're happy, healthy, and you're safe. This is Raquel Rock. And today, I know it might be kind of hard to tell by the title because I try very much so to make the title as indicative as possible of what the video is going to be about. So I just came up with March It Out. So basically the video, um, it's a combination of clips from um, March 14th. I was debating whether or not to post it or not because it wasn't, you know, it didn't quite, you know, go as I planned it. it had some technical issues and I was like, hmm, it's not quite what I wanted. But I was going back and forth and back and forth. I said, why not? I'm just going to go ahead and just do a little editing, put a little clips, just snip here and there and just go ahead and put it out there. So it was, you know, I love to celebrate. Um, well, first of all, if you do like what you see. Um, I'll ask that you please like and subscribe and remember to turn on your notifications so you'll know anytime I post anything. And also if you'd like to leave a comment, whether it's a question, a suggestion, or if you just want to say hi, I will say hi back. So if you've seen some of my other videos, um, just me as a person, I love to celebrate. I don't need anyone to create a reason to celebrate. I celebrate and at the time with my family, my friends, we like birthdays and everything any celebration is more than just one day uh, they go on like they're full festivals um you know it's just one good thing that happened in your day it's like oh we celebrate and let's 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 celebrate so in some of my videos i've done like um for example national eyelash day and i think i've done national cold cuts day national strawberry day and things like that you know i just um it's a website and i'll try to remember to put that in the um the description but you know if you just go do a basic you know online search it's like a national calendar it'll tell you like different um days that are celebrated so anyway that's why i'm calling this one um march it out because um again i said i wasn't sure when that was posted but i was like let's just go for it i know it's april but i'm gonna go ahead and put it out there so march 14th as you can see it's a number of days that are on there and what happens is a lot of the times even though I do try to look ahead, but you know, I may have some other ideas and then sometimes it can take a while, you know, with the, you know, cause I don't have the advanced software yet, which I think is fine. Like where I am, like I'm just starting out. Um, so it can take a little longer than, you know, I do have a regular traditional, you know, what we call the nine to five job and just other, you know, things I have to take care of. But, um, I try to do this as much as I can. I'm enjoying it. And I hope to continue to get better. I know I will. I know hope that I will get better and better at it. But um, there's says most of these when I do the celebrations like this, it's usually I find out the day of, and it will just hit me. I was like, oh, I wonder if there's anything interesting today that I can do. Um, so March 14th, as you can see, had quite a few of them, and of course, me being the ambitious person I am, decided to try to take on quite a few of them. So you can see it's National Pie Day. Uh, National Learn About Butterflies Day. It was also National um, Potato Chip Day, National Write of Dale Your Story Day, as well as National Nap Day, the day after um, the return of daylight saving time, and also it was Albert Einstein's birthday. So originally I had um, recorded, let's say you will see in the upcoming clips, I have pieces and parts here to put together and uh, you know, just try to make it look nice as possibly as I possibly could. Um, like I said, when, again, I was mulling over back and forth. And I was like, you know what? Let's just go ahead and put it out there. So let's go without further ado. Let's, you know, just march it out. March 14th, 2022. Thanks so much for watching. Okay, so with the term pie day, it's a play on the words. Um, one like pie, you know, with pies for P-I, which is that um, the famous of the first, well, the three numbers, the 3.14. Um, I forgot how many, actually, I don't know if it goes into thousands of millions. I don't know how many, what they called it, um, exponential or how far it goes or whatever. But um, this is the number pi is a mathematical constant, um, mathematical constant approximately equal to 3.14159 so i'm not going to go deep into that to even to even pretend or just to read off some stuff to you like i even know what all that means but i know that most of them we are familiar with the famous 3.14 with pi um now on the calendar where i get this um one of the calendars that i get the um 
see what they said which days to celebrate um it's just a little bit of the history of national pie day i'm just a little bit here it's just that um shaw which is um they said that he's a local physicist um that on march 14th um with the digits of pi with 3.14 which you know like the date 3 of march and 14. um and they said he developed that in order to organize a special day to bond with the exploratorium staff together where he offered fruit pies and tea to everyone starting at 1 59 p.m the following three digits of the value so i was like you know i'm just like that i don't want to just read it's like read on about it um if you're interested in learning more about it um like i guess you can do a regular google search on it and i will try my best to remember to put it in the um in the what is the description now also a pie you know people call pie like like he said they have pies um you have the you know the constant the mathematical constant and then you have pie like a piece of pies and all of that so um also during that day a lot of places um were offering like some deals on like pizza pies and things like that from like um, 7-eleven blaze pizza pork belly sandwich shop um it was quite a few a boston market um that's at boston i mean boston boston market I and mean, that was a horrible version of a boston accent but hey can't blame me for trying but anyway it was a number of places that had deals on um all of that but um like I said, it was like, it was like, I found out about all these things kind of like, you know, at the very last minute. And I was like, oh my gosh, I want to try my hand and trying to include as much as I can. So with the pie, I decided to go um, with, you know, just actually trying like a pie, not like a piece of pie, but like a dessert pie, which by the time I did, it was so late at night. Um, and I was like, where am I going to get a pie from? So I just ordered some little, you know, pies from GoPuff and well... They weren't delicious, but let me just let you look at the next clip and let you be the judge of how I felt about those pies. But <laughs> so happy National Pie Day. And with National Learn About Butterfly Day, one thing I bet you didn't know, butterflies can make videos and use phones. There you go. There's a star up with that. Um, I, just, I don't make this stuff up, but today is, um, like, I don't make this stuff up, they do. Um, today, March 14, 2022, is National Learn About Butterflies Day. It's the butterfly. Okay, so we're gonna see what they say about this. It says another day to celebrate and learn about one of the most beautiful and colorful creatures in the world. But it's a more than their beauty, um, a teeming population of beautify, I'm sorry, of butterflies. Beautifies, beautify. Beautifies, I said beautifies. More than their beauty, a teeming population of butterflies signifies a thriving ecosystem due to their role as predator and prey. Isn't that nice? Um, I said, what do butterflies eat? They said they feed on nectar from plants, their straw-like mouth parts, call, see I said I wasn't gonna get into this, proboscis, pro I'm pretty sure I'm uh, butchered that, I mean butchered, butchered, but, okay. So it's P-R-O-B-O-S-C-I-S. Okay, it affords them the ability to reach for <laughs> for it deep within the flowers. Okay. Okay, so today, March 13th, well, March 14th, 2022, is also National Write Your Story Day. So, even though uh, in this instance, I'm not going to write it down, I'm just still going to tell my story. And that's why I put 
why I had to say story back. Story. This is my story. But I was like, I just put the, um, I put slash story time. So National Writers Story Day, they say, like, you know, just for example, to celebrate it by grabbing pen and paper or your favorite electronic device and just begin typing away. Um, and it just, you know, encourage others to share their stories and share your story with others. So that's what I'm going to do. It's, um, I'm just going to share a story with you. Um, just a little bit of a history that um, National Writers Story Day um, is showing like I'm getting this directly from the, um, I believe this is National Calendar Day the nationaldaycalendar.com so according to that website it's saying um, Mitzi founded National Writer Story Day in September of 2017 and Mitzi is an author artist guide and founder of Mitzi TV which pushes to inspire authors and artists to become better individuals so um, a little bit more I said the business also works to provide direction and encouragement to others so that they can push their work out into the world where it can best serve others so I'm going to share a little story and it's going to be one that's definitely full of fun and laughter at my expense, but it's a story that it happened years ago, but it still, it still tickles me to this day. It is still funny. So here goes. So I was, um, I was at work, but my sister, um, mom had some papers that she needed to drop off at an office that was closer to me. It was like directly like up the street from where I work and it was like way across town from where she worked. So I told her, you know, if she wanted to, I can definitely, you know, drop it off on my lunch break. So that's what I did. So on my lunch break, I went and drove up to the office building and it was like a big office complex, you know, where they have all the different suites and everything with the offices. So of course you all seen in my um, maybe a couple of other videos like the one I did with to speed or not to speed when I was getting the egg bites from Starbucks. You can definitely tell it's like I have um, a Lincoln Navigator 4x4 huge SUV and yes because I am a whopping staggering 5'2 so I do you know I need something big to make sure I can you know I can accommodate all of this. So anyway I get out of the car and I was wearing, um, I remember it very vividly. I mean, I wear black most of the time anyway. That's my favorite color. But I had on a, a black skirt and nice black, you know, blouse and blazer and everything and nice heels. So I had to step out of my car. And when I stepped out of the car, my heel got caught in my skirt. Now, the first reaction is to try, you know, because I'm standing on one leg, like, you know, like a little flamenco. You know, in, at lunchtime, very busy, you know, carpet, everything. So I'm on one leg trying to balance myself, but my foot, of course, you put your legs down, you put your foot down so you can balance yourself. Now, because my heel was in my skirt and with that pressure with me trying to balance myself, I'm trying to paint a clear picture for you all. The heel went through my skirt. And so when I put my foot down, you know what happened it pulled my skirt straight down to my ankles so i was there i was just and i'm so glad that day i didn't wear a thong or anything i just had a regular underwear um but uh, there i am in the parking lot now it's you can't just you know bend away and grab it and pull it back up because my heel had punctured through the skirt so here i am in the parking lot struggling trying to pull my skirt up and but i can't do so without getting my heel out of the hole in my skirt so and of course i bust out into laughter when people tell me laugh to be cried, I literally, it was not little tears. It was, it was crazy. I was crying and I was laughing so hard. I mean, yes, it was shocking and it was an embarrassment. But at that point, I couldn't, all of that went away. It was just more of just disbelief and I just could not stop laughing. So it's like I finally was able to get my heel out of my skirt so I could pull my skirt back up. And so the first thing I did was like, I called my mom because a lot of time on my lunch break, you know, I would call my mom just to see how her day is going and everything. So of course you can imagine how I sounded, you know, and I didn't mean to startle her, but it's like, I was like laughing so hard and crying. And she was like, Raquel, are you okay? Are you okay? And I said, yes, I'm fine. I was like, I'm sorry. And, I, and it took a long time before I could even talk. I mean, I was just laughing so hard. I was just wanting to make sure I could get out. I'm okay. I didn't want her to panic so I finally come a little bit enough to tell her the story and we just laughed so hard but it's like still mind you I have to go into the building drop off these papers so I get get myself together composed touch up my makeup and everything 
I get to the office building and you know I have like different suites in there so I get to the um, suite that I need to go to and I just let them know it's like I'm here to drop off some of your papers for my sister and then they said oh, yeah and I said okay and then this dude walks by in the office and then he says mm, a sister was struggling wasn't she and I was like oh. he said yeah we saw you out there in that parking lot I was like, really? I was like, of all the, I mean, it was a whole building with, you know, a, a lot of different office suites. And it would happen to be that it would be the office that I need to go to. And that it would happen to be they were looking out the window at that time. I was like, and you could tell they were looking. I mean, he didn't even have to say anything. You know, I didn't know they saw me, you know. <laughs> but when he said I couldn't do anything but laugh. He said it very, you know, playfully. He said, oh, yeah, sister was struggling out there in the parking lot. was and I said, yes, I was. And so when they saw, I started laughing, then they all started laughing. And I was like, I couldn't even be mad at it. I was like, and yes, I said, yes, I was struggling. I said, I need to get back to work. I said, my heel, and I, you know, explained to them, my heel ripped a hole in my skirt. And so they was like, and they were very helpful. I was like, wait a minute, I think we may have some, you know, some safety pins or something around here to kind of help you out. So then they found the safety pin, and they said, we have an empty, you know, an office. We, um, their suite had offices inside the suite. I'm going to say, you're free to, I'm going to take that empty room right there. If you want to go in there, we can close that door and you can just go in there and just, you know, fix your skirt. So I was able, you know, to pin it from the inside and everything so you couldn't tell. And it was so sweet of them. I'm pretty sure I made their day. They needed that laugh. And I probably know I needed that laugh. <laughs> but it was like, it wasn't even, I couldn't even feel embarrassed at that point. It was like more of just, I could not believe it really felt like something of a twilight zone. I could not believe I was in the parking lot like that. So anyway, I make my way back to work and say it could have been worse. It could have happened in the parking lot at the building where I worked at. Because then I will have to go back in the building and see these people every day and work with them. So it could have been worse. So the pastor, you know, this is little tidbits in this story. You know, you got to laugh in those times with things of embarrassment or whatever happened. Sometimes you just got to laugh and roll with it. You got a hole in your skirt. You know what? Pin it up and you still got to go on because I still had to go back to work after lunch. And it could have been worse. I could have, you know, had that happen unless, you know, they would have never let that, let me live that down. And it could have been even worse because when that happened, all this, you know, people videoing each other for laughs and everything on YouTube it and Instagram, it really wasn't that big at that time. And I'm not saying, I don't know, somebody might have it on tape. I don't know. <laughs> they might. But um, I did get back to work. And then, so it just happened in that day too. They have like evaluations, you know. Um, I forgot whether it was quarterly or whatever, and it would happen to be that day, but I'm glad I was able to pin my skirt. So I was meeting with the manager and then she was like, you know, like Raquel, you're excelling. You're doing a wonderful job. But all I kept in my head, just kept replaying the story of what had just happened. And so I could not stop laughing through my entire, um, evaluation. I know she was looking at me like kind of weird. Cause I was trying to hold a laugh. Cause I, I just, I was like, excuse me. I was like, I have to tell you what happened because I can't hold my laugh. So I told her the story. So I'm here in my meeting and all my evaluation and it's like, you know, you're doing a wonderful job and I could not stop laughing. But I shared the story with her and she just, she cracked up and come, she said, well, I didn't know. She said, I knew something had to be going on. But anyway, it's still like a running joke sometimes. So like, I'll be like, oh, well, like we're family or friends, but like, oh, sister struggling. And so like when something happens, this, it, it was really hilarious. I mean, it was a huge laugh. It was a mixture of emotions but like I said it was a fun story but where things just know things happen in life you know I didn't like oh my god I'm gonna go home because like I was too far from home to it I'm not gonna miss work so it's like hey you put your pin in your skirt or your pants or whatever you're wearing and you get back to work you know and it could have been worse but that's my little story I said again I was like I didn't write the story on that one but as I put story time and so thank you for listening. I just wanted to share that with you. It was like, it was so many events um, with this day for March 14th. So thank you for listening. <laughs> and also today, March 13th, is also Albert Einstein's birthday. So I know that um, most of the time, most everyone, if you hear his name, it's always associated with the world's most famous equation, which is that E equals M squared. I'm sorry, E equals MC squared. Um, and I'm not, you know, I don't delve deep into knowing what all of that means. So I'm not going to sit here and act like I can enlighten you on that, um, the meaning of that equation. But um, in a nutshell, it says energy equals mass times the speed of light squared. So we're saying on the most basic level, um, the equation states that um, energy and mass of matter are interchangeable. They are different forms of the same thing. 
So, of course, I mean, there, there are some videos and there's like how to break it down to a child feel or and the most basic um, elements of what that means. But I'm just going to leave that there. Instead, what I'm going to do, there are some um, quotes I'll say. Allegedly, um, they were saying that they were by Albert Einstein. I like the quotes, um, so I'm just going to share a couple of those with you. Um, one is, the life is like riding a bicycle. To keep your balance, you must keep moving. I also like them. We cannot solve our problems with the same thinking we use when we created them. Another is the true sign of intelligence. It's not knowledge, but imagination. And also, I like the only reason for time is so that everything doesn't happen at once. So, we're going to round this. This has been a long day of wonderful celebrations. And I just decided to try my hand in taking all of these on in one day. And literally, I did not find about, about these days until the day of. But, um, so last but not least, today is also National Napping Day. Yes, you have it right. National Napping Day. It comes um, after, um, what's the daylight saving time? We know the whole spring forward. So basically, it's just saying that um, National Napping Day was created in 1999 by a Boston University professor and his wife, William Anthony, PhD. And his wife, Camille Anthony, created this holiday to spread awareness of the importance of getting enough sleep and its benefits. So that is really important. Um, just on that note, but people do not understand. It's like a lot of times because your body heals the best, you know, when you're resting. So you can go and go and push yourself. There's nothing wrong with that, but also listen to your body and know when you need that, um, just get a little rest so you can heal and be rejuvenated and be, you know, more productive. So it's really important. And after this, I am definitely going to celebrate National Napping Day <laughs> after all of this. And if you watched through this, it was probably 20 minutes long. We probably took a nap in between but um <laughs> thank you again for watching um this is raquel rock um don't forget to um like and subscribe and turn on your notifications and if you'd like to leave a comment whether it's a general comment a question a suggestion or if you just want to say hi i will say hi back once again this is raquel rock thank you so much for watching have a wonderful day i'm gonna go take me a nap till next time <laughs>